in the name of Jesus Christ may the grace that lifts may the grace that announces let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now you are welcome to believers global tv beloved in christ i implore you not to miss this important message you are about to listen to it is not by accident that you are here on this channel right now i strongly believe that there is something god is about to do in your life through this teaching and that is why i encourage you to listen to the end colossians chapter 3 verse 16 says let the word of christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Today is a day of divine favor and testimony. Stay to the end. Don't go away. God bless you. I want you to be tired today while you are listening to me. We came here to release our faith. If it is not working, don't keep quiet. Did you hear what I said? If it is not working, don't keep quiet. Say it after me. If it is not working, it says, Give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem. Now, what does it mean to pray the prayer of faith? Number one. What does it mean to pray the prayer of faith? Number one, the prayer of faith is scripture-based prayer. Write it down. The prayer of faith is scripture-based prayer. Why do we pray scripture-based prayer? Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent god is not a man that he should lie he is not the son of man that he should repent hath he said it and shall he not do it had he spoken and shall he not make it good god is not a man number two i like this psalm 138 and verse 2 mm. Psalm 138 and verse 2. Psalm 132, 8 verse 2. Let's read together. I will worship towards your holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. Why? For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy names. You have lifted and exalted your word. That means when I pray word compliant scripture based prayer, I have a guarantee by the spirit that God will not be tampered by any biases or emotions. He's exalted and magnified his word even above his name. Scripture based prayer. Never pray and ask anything without presenting the scriptural basis that commits God. Father, I'm bringing before you my rent. What is the basis? I will tell you. The Bible says, watch this. If ye being evil, he was speaking to fathers, know how to give good gifts to your children. Now you come as a child and say, Lord, I am your child. You are father. The proof of fatherhood according to scripture is the ability to give are we together now yes oh i know that i was careless i went and did whatever it is i went to go and use the money for my rent to celebrate a birthday party now i am in trouble father your word says that your mercy triumphs over judgment it says your mercies are new every morning your judgments are not new every morning i come before you in repentance and sincerity i have been careless but i ask for your mercy for your namesake you are praying bible based scripture based prayer your child returns from school and it looks like things are not working he's failing in the exams beating the child kicking the child getting angry getting frustrated and say god this is your child that's not how it works 
carry Psalm 112. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. God, you said, my seed shall be mighty. This does not look like might. This looks like shame or reproach. I petition this child on account of the integrity of your word. This is how believers pray. This is prayer that produces results. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? You are a pastor and you are leading people. You are not seeing great people rise from your congregation. Go to God in prayer. Genesis 17 and verse 6. Lord, there is a covenant with you that greatness will come out of me. Genesis 17 and verse 6. Media help us please. It says, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful. And I will make nations of thee. And things not shall come to thee shall come out of thee. You carry that and do a three days retreat with it. And you will watch somebody will tell you, I got a job with a multinational. Another person, I established a business in six months, it's been global. God is not honoring your word. He's honoring his word that you have made your word. Listen, this is the secret to mighty testimonies that you see. I vowed before God that I will never raise a weak people. And it's not because I'm Joshua Selman. This is one of the anchor scriptures. Hmm. Hallelujah. It looks like everybody is forgetting you. People are not remembering you. Go to God in prayer and cry. That night could not King Ahazaro sleep. He said, bring me the chronicles. And he said, this person has done this. What has been done to him? And they said, nothing. And a book of remembrance was opened. You cry before God. And you say, I've been part of the testimony of many people. Lord, they have, for they have forgotten me. He said, the keeper of Israel. He does not sleep, neither slumbers. Ah! And the wine press has said before Pharaoh, I remember my wrong this day. So it is wrong to forget those who help you. Did you hear what I said? It is a wrong that he remembered. I remember my wrong. That this person was the one praying with me. Now I, I got a job and for five years, I have not even remembered him to say, take for tea and bread. He didn't say, I remember. I remember my wrong. It is wrong. This is how we command results in destiny. Prayer becomes exciting when you are praying scripture. When you are praying nonsense, it will just frustrate you and you'll be clear that your prayer will not be answered. Take time to write scriptures. Don't just shout. And God has helped people to put the scriptures for you. At least two or three scriptures. Go to God in fasting. Go to God praying. Lock your door. This church is not growing. Father, you are the God of increase. You are the God of increase. I will multiply them. They shall not be few. I will glorify them. They shall not be small. That becomes your scripture. Oh, they are not coming because the place is far. It's a lie. Where was the ark of Noah when the animals found their way to the ark? The ark of Noah was placed in one position and the animals left everywhere. Noah did not know where the animals were, but there was an anointing that compelled them. It's called an akazo. It's a grace that compels. It said, go to the highway and the byways and compel them to come that my house may be full. Listen. I hope you don't mistake what we're doing for pride. But let me tell you this. If you don't live like this, I assure you, you'll be frustrated. This thing is not magical. This is how you walk your salvation with fear and trembling. Walk out your salvation. You are trusting God for a property beyond your savings. Let me just give this advice beyond your savings no matter how much money you have you can have the money and the owner will say i will not give you there are many things money cannot do psalm 44 and verse 3 somebody has received the revelation for his property this year psalm 44 and verse 3 they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arms save them but thy right hand 
and thine arm and the light of your countenance because thou hast a favor towards them someone just looks at you and says i'm working in the land office i just feel like including your name for an allocation and you will think it's one small land that looks like a kiosk you'll be given and you will never see the person again if you think you have to know those who help you save johnny did you hear what i said it takes a long time to know one person and yet you need many people cumulatively to help you so the bible says strangers shall feed your flock when you are praying for help it must come from both known and unknown people abraham did not know abimelech but in one night it was abimelech that caused abraham to prosper he wanted to take his wife and god said if you touch that woman you are dead by the next day all the blessings of abraham was a peace offering for apology so you can meet with somebody who does not know you and say something is making me bless you tell the person you are right you don't know what i did in my room that something has a name believe what I'm saying I believe it believe this one day you stand up and you are just walking in your room prophetically everywhere the soles of your feet treads upon you are doing it in your room oh. don't worry that the room is just a two by two or four by don't mind the devil you just do what I'm telling you to do Walking round by the Spirit, Sanaka Barakosiata, Ranteka Barakosiata, Ebreke Bahusiata. You come to do ministry in a city, and they tell you there are forces that the ministry does not survive one, two, three years. Don't you know what to do? You don't confront forces on the pulpit. You confront forces in the secret place. The pulpit is a place for manifestation. Don't stand on the pulpit and that's when you are shouting at the spirits to hear you. It's too late. You deal with it in the secret place. The controlling powers across this territory. Hear the word of the Lord. The Bible says, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. If I come by myself, I shouldn't be blessed. But because I come in the name of the Lord. Is that not in your Bible? I'm showing you the prayer of faith. Word compliant prayer that produces power. The triumphant entry of Jesus they said bless Hosanna in the highest the triumphant entry is the testimony of anybody who comes in the name of the Lord when you come in the name of the Lord the proof that you come in the name of the Lord is that there must eventually be a triumphant entry there was nothing that was used in that triumphant entry that was a personal property of Jesus. Not the leaves, not the men, not the donkey. He just came in the name of the Lord and provisions followed to make sure that the entry was triumphant. Don't say, I don't have money, I don't have this, I don't have that. No. The invisible things are the mothers of the visible things. Everything visible is a child. The name of the mother that gave birth to it is the spirit realm. The resources that you have are beyond the things that you see. Don't be deceived by the amount in your account. Whether you say it correctly or not, you are still wrong. If what you have is 10 million and you say I have 10 million, you are still wrong. Do you believe this? I'm sharing with you my life sincerely under God. This is what I do in the secret place. the spirit of God get angry in your spirit stop pampering the devil around your destiny I told you when Satan comes he does not come to discuss he does not come to advise when he comes he will kill he will steal he will destroy one more time he will steal he will kill he will destroy everybody begins to hate you in the place of work that's an affliction what did the Bible say to do when you are afflicted pray you are just discussing it with people who cannot help you what is making my general manager hate me direct superior hate me even the cleaners hate me no i'm a spiritual man i know this is not a sign of the favor of god something is wrong 
and you return back home somebody says can we come and watch a movie sorry another time please you lock your door thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over lord what told you if you are not from this you are not from that no no every good and perfect gift cometh from above watch this it comes from the father of lights i caught a revelation of god as the father of spirits that's a very dangerous name every human being is first a spirit if you are not a spirit you cannot be called man you first have to be spirit that is trapped in a body so when god calls himself the father of spirit he can manipulate any human spirit to achieve his purposes even if you are pharaoh so when someone beats his chest and say over my dead body he's made a big mistake leave the person and go to the father of spirits the one who turned men to beasts to show that he's a ruler upon the earth arguing with men is a waste of time we wrestle not against flesh and blood you know the scripture but have you been using it this is what i'm teaching you it is not just an awareness of it it is when you engage i'm teaching you the prayer of faith shall heal the sick and it shall raise men up the prayer of faith hallelujah i have audio recordings of different scriptures sometimes i can sit down and just play them scriptures on lifting scriptures on healing scriptures on influence scriptures on power pay the price and bring them together while others are sleeping we're awake Rikoski Brandagata, thou shalt be exalted above all the nations of the earth. No nation will reject me. There is a grace upon me. No nation. There is a mandate that has proceeded above and ahead of me. This is what I believe. I told you yesterday, or was yes, yesterday. It's impossible for everybody to hate you. Even Satan is not hated by everybody. I said it yesterday. Terrorists have wives. A woman who saw him as a terrorist and said, yes, I'm going to marry you. And robbers have wives. Everybody cannot hate you. You have just been meeting the wrong people. It's not your assignment to find the right people. You are guided the steps of a good man. Talk to me, believers. Are ordered by who? Let me tell you something. When God wants to give you visibility, one of the things that God does is to change your audience to the right people. There are many gifted people, but because you are positioned around the wrong people, it is painful when you are gifted, but the people hearing you are not the ones mandated to bless you. They will disregard what you carry no matter how much you carry it. There are CEOs today that are, are global in potential, but the people around their lives do not have the capacity to discern, recognize, nor honor what they carry everybody you see lifted came across this miracle of being repositioned to the right people let me tell you how visibility happens god brings you to the audience that have been praying for your grace yes sir whether you're in music ministry whether you're in word ministry don't ignore what i'm saying you will suffer in life and ministry honestly if you ignore it it's true somebody looks at you and says does this not look like the person we have been praying for and don't say there are many people that's not your business your possibilities are defined by your faith and conviction don't say there are many people no someone can look at you and say based on this you look like the secretary i've been praying for and then the person now says how much should i give you and God says, keep quiet. You would have said 200,000. The person says, can you manage 2.5? And you almost want to fall down. But because of how the person perceives you, the person would think, listen, when you get into the atmosphere of the right people, they will perceive you sometimes to a point of flattery. You will think they are lying to you. Believe what I'm telling you. This is how God lifted me up once upon a time with all of course i know that everybody has that face you can go somewhere where you are not honored and appreciated 
is as you are climbing the bike going they will bring out your norredium like a bribe and squeeze it in a 2a exercise book and say please as you are going eh? thank you but when god wants to help a man god puts together the audience that have both the resources and the recognition of what god has given you and god will flaunt you like a trophy in the presence of your helpers and that becomes the end of it you will never go to the prison again let me prophesy over someone in the name that is above all names i'm praying for you may god reposition you to the right people may my god reposition you to the right audience may my god reposition you to the right people Hallelujah. I have five minutes. Let's tie this up. What is the prayer of faith? So, number one, please be seated. Word based, word compliant, scripture based prayer. Number two, what is the prayer of faith? The prayer of faith is prayers in accordance to the revealed will of God. Prayers that is in accordance to the revealed will of God. 1 John 5, 14 and 15, please. Prayers that is in accordance to the revealed will of God. According to scripture, one of the ways that we redeem time is to know the will of God. The Bible says to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise, redeeming the time and that by knowing what the will of God is. Let's read this scripture. One to read, please. And this is the confidence we have in him. According to his will. HCC shout it. Say according to his will. Say according to his will. Yes. According to his will. That is the missing link for many people's prayer. They pray, but it's not according to his will. This is the confidence we have that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Verse 15. It says, and if, and if we know that he heareth us, whatsoever we ask, we also know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. What is the prayer of faith? praying in accordance to the revealed will of god is it the will of god to heal you do you believe that do you have a scripture for it then you can pray demanding healing is it the will of god to bless you do you believe that you see before you ask anything verify if your prayer request is consistent with the will of god verify where it is not everything about your desire that is stated directly in scripture that is the advantage of praying in the spirit every time the revealed will is unknown you pray in the spirit until the spirit who searches the mind of god when he reveals to you the will of god there must be a scripture that connects to his will that you now know are we together it is not everything you desire that is directly written in scripture there is no name lagos in scripture there is no name for where your house will be in scripture lord where am i going to be that's where the prayer language comes you stay and um, the moment you begin to pray in the spirit the bible tells us that the spirit of god is a wisdom of god that he has a unique ministry to search the mind of the father and he can transport to your understanding that which is consistent with the will of god he's able to reveal and help you know the things that are freely given but once the will of god the knowledge of that will is revealed the next thing is to switch back to what compliant prayer hallelujah number three and i end here what is the prayer of faith hmm. the prayer of faith is persistent prayer persistent prayer prayer that does not stop till the answers arrive james 5 17 the prayer of faith is not a one-time prayer is a prayer of is a prayer that holds on knowing that it may take time but that the word of god will surely be made manifest 
Elijah was a man subject to us is still the same flow of scripture explaining to you what the prayer of faith is that the Bible later calls a fervent and effectual prayer that avails much it says Elijah was a man subject to like passion as we are the Bible says he prayed earnestly this is one definition of the prayer of faith the prayer that is prayed earnestly persistence consistence that it might not rain and the Bible says it rained not on the earth by a space of three years and six months next verse the Bible says and he prayed again and he prayed again and he prayed again he prayed in January he still prayed in February he still prayed in March again is what makes any prayer the prayer of faith you pray again you pray again you pray again you pray again do not think you're praying again is a sign of unbelief it's not true it depends on what you are saying Jesus prayed repeating the same words again repeating the same words pray again in Luke chapter 18 and verse 1 the Bible says he spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint then the Bible gives us a very interesting scenario that there was a man who did not fear God nor regard men may you never meet such a man a man that doesn't fear God and a man that does not regard men that is a dangerous man I say it again may you not meet such a person then the Bible says there was a very frail widow. What does it mean? All her support systems had left her. From a physical standpoint, she did not have much. The Bible says she came to him saying, Avenge me mine adversary. Verse 4. The Bible says for a while he would not do that. But afterwards he said to himself, Though I fear not God nor regard man. Verse 5. He says, Yet this widow troubled me. And how does she trouble him? I will avenge her less by her continual coming. He's teaching the character of prayer that works. That this is a frail woman with no ability to fight this man physically. But she used the power of persistence. The Bible says give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem as a praise. Is it alright to pay for something for one year? For two years? Ask Abraham for 25 years and the bible says and after he patiently endured he obtained the promise persistence in the spirit is a sign of stamina is proof you still believe god and the prayer of faith shall heal the sick and the lord shall raise him up please rise up on your feet Please rise up on your feet. We are wrapping up. I want to speak over your life. I share the burden that is in the heart of God's servant to see you produce results. This conference is called Exploits, even of faith and by faith. God wants us to produce potent results. He is glorified. You have tabernacled here from the start of this conference wrapping up tomorrow and i want you to pray one more prayer just one more prayer father give me an evidence let there be an evidence in my life that you have visited me go ahead and pray let there be an evidence in my life let there be an evidence Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm, like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. 
the elderly one says he is going to go that he is going to like go on the errands but the younger one says he's not going to go and so they left the presence of the man and behold the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went but the one who says he was not going to go at a point he thought within himself and said my father has been very responsible for me so i will go so he changed his mind and went so i want to ask among these two sons who actually does the will of the father it is the younger one so as you have listened to this message it's not about listening alone if you listen and probably you feel stirred up but later on the zeal the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies and you do not apply this message it means the time that you dedicated listening to them, to this message was a waste so it is not about what you share alone it's not about the messages that you listen to alone it is more of what you take out of th those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um better so i do hope and i pray that this message will transform your life will turn your life around